In Stage 4 Week 1, the Philadelphia Fusion and the Boston Uprising were all tied up coming out of halftime. Both teams won a round on Lijiang Tower, so it came down to Night Market. This is exactly what the Philadelphia Fusion wanted to get out from the Boston Uprising. Striker on a hero that, uh, you know, from all that we know, he has just picked up. Mistakes on a hero that you feel like Carpe can win the battle again. After Philly had gained over 90% control, Boston was forced into a fight on the point for a last-ditch effort at flipping control. But it looks like the Boston Uprising are too busy trying to take the point. That's the Widow Duel 1. Again, Philadelphia Fusion always trying to come out on top. Striker, though, lands a big triple on the barrage there. The Graviton helping. Striker took out four of the Fusion players, and a Boston flip seemed imminent, but Carpe stepped in with three headshots to eliminate Kalios' Zarya, Strikers Farah and Kellex's Mercy. After EQO finished off Gamsu's Reinhardt, the Fusion secured the point and won the map. Fusion always gonna come out on top. Striker though lands a big triple on the barrage there. The Graviton helping both supports are caught together. That's what they needed, but Carpe strikes in again. Striking down. <laughs> Kellex also being removed. Carpe, what are you doing? This is unbelievable. He turns around and gets on the point. EQO follows it up. How has they redone this? The Philadelphia Fusion went on to win the match and left with a decisive victory to start off Stage 4. That right there was the turning point where Carpe and the Philadelphia Fusion turned a sour moment into something sweet. Presented by Sour Patch Kids Candy.